many subscribers in the video uh, with my Tesla. Uh, this time a more serious issue. As you can see the car menu, the, there is no full still driving visualization, what does the call it? So there's no lanes, there's no traffic lights, there's no uh, speed limits. And the uh, reason for this is uh, one of the cameras is constantly not working after updating to the V11. You can see that uh, one side repeater camera on the right is not working at the moment. And uh, they just, you know, randomly do not work uh, either left or right, sometimes even the backup camera, but the backup camera was mostly working. And now, uh, you know, in the city, this isn't such a huge deal, but uh, this gave up on me on the highway when I was uh, on a longer trip. Uh, that was a bit exhausting. And uh, there is a huge down point uh, because apparently uh, the cruise control is tied to the autopilot cameras. So it doesn't work like a cruise control, uh, like in a classical car where you have a switch uh, where it's mechanical, it's apparently software thing. So uh, I'm gonna show you once the traffic moves, uh, you need to exceed like 30 kilometers per hour to be able to engage the autopilot, but it's just gonna give you a message that it's not able to engage it. If I go to the little bell there, you can see that driving visualization is temporarily degraded, cruise control unavailable, autopilot cameras unavailable, um, and so on, the, the list goes on. Um, so, see the speed now, see cruise control unavailable. So, uh, I'm driving to the Tesla service right now, and we're gonna see, uh, I've talked to them, they've mentioned that they need to do a camera calibration uh, via their computer. Now there's an option inside the car menu to do that, but uh, I found one video owner of the Model Y had the same problem. Uh, for him, the only solution was uh, changing the cameras uh, for the autopilot on the top of the metal mirror. So uh, we're gonna see if that's gonna be the case uh, in my situation, on my car, but uh, I saw a lot of people having the same issue on Model 3 as well. Uh, since the V11, hopefully it's just a software thing uh, and that there won't be any hardware issues like changing the cameras. We'll see. Uh, I hope it's gonna get fixed. Uh, this also frozen a few times. Uh, even when I stopped the car, uh, wheels were spinning like right now. And uh, even the navigation froze a few times. And what I need to point out that um, resetting uh, the MCU with the two scroll wheel buttons on the steering wheel did not help. Uh, that was the soft reset. Even the hard reset, holding the brake uh, and holding those two buttons and then letting it go for uh, two to five minutes and then pressing the brake to turn it on did not help. So uh, there's another option to like disconnect the battery or something like that, but that was really not recommended. Uh, so it's better to go to the service, so that's what I'm doing now. The uh, Sentry was constantly giving up. It would just uh, turn off by itself due to the error. Sentry error or something like that, I'm gonna put the screen. So hopefully uh, this will be sorted out uh, altogether. I'd also like to add that the emergency braking is also disabled with this and uh, uh, cruise distance. I mean, everything tied to the radar uh, and the cameras is obviously not working now. Well, there's a lot of Tesla sensors today. Yeah. Well, after a few hours back in the car and uh, Tesla replaced one uh, side repeater camera, I think it was the right one, and uh, we'll see if this actually fixed the problem and works for now. Hopefully, uh, that was it. So, for now, the autopilot is working. Uh, my 
thought is that the water is getting into the side repeaters when you're washing your car on the pressure. Uh, and uh, just water doesn't mix with electronics. So uh, I'm afraid this might uh, happen again. Uh, I don't know why they didn't replace both cameras because they did have condensation inside. Uh, so far they've only decided to uh, replace one camera.